sexual coercion, he later apologized for his behavior. Oh my god. Gender queer. Per the school committee policy at SBA IGL, the school media center is a part of the total school program. Dr. Oshay, who says he has read this book, as have I, as I stated, this is available in our library. According to him, I feel it is important to see these images and quotations in context of the full text. I didn't have time to show you the whole book, so here are just a few things in the book. Um, and in this case, he says, the intent of the author is to be concerned for the sexual health of those who are transgender, clearly not to be pornographic. With pornography, there is an intent to stimulate erotic rather than aesthetic emotional or emotional feelings. Interest in erotic gay fiction has been so prevalent in my friendships, one could mistake it for a prerequisite. Furthermore, there are three references in this book that I found, and probably more, that refer to a sex toy website, which actually talks about fun things like under 30 gay saunas, books for teens on sex education, fantasies, sexual techniques defined and demonstrated. There's also another reference to a memoir about a lesbian author who describes her father as a closeted homosexual teacher who is involved with his male students. And finally, a website that actually is a porno website, adults, gay only, adults only gay or straight porn site, that specifically states, pick your porn gay or straight, and provided that you are 18 years of age or older and aren't offended by sexually explicit imagery, you agree that you will not permit any person under 18 to have access to any of this materials contained within this site. And yes, I have read these books, and by the way, others, and this is all in these books. So ask me how to take this out of context. I think it is the context. I'm going to be a sin. Yeah. Yeah. Stop sexualizing children. It is a cooperative process with media specialists, 
teachers, administrators, and students all having a part in creating an adequate and workable collection. Suggestions for materials to be purchased may come from administrators, faculty, and students, although final selection is made by the library media specialists. Materials shall be appropriate for the age for whom the materials are selected. Some of these policies were violated during the selection of materials. And at least one policy hey, to please wrap up. I think so far needs an overhaul by the school committee so as to include parents in the decision making process of materials. Okay. Yeah. And amending policies to ensure that parents have Again, some you could say please wrap up. Let her finish. Just because you don't like it. Yeah! You broke your own policy! Good job! This guy likes touching little kids, you can tell. Under God. Woo! Too bad they don't teach that anymore. <laughs> Even pedophiles, right? Even pedophiles. That includes pedophiles, right? If we could please, if you could address. Yes. Thank you. I'm sorry. That's it. That's all I really want to say. I want to say thank you for working as hard as you are to ensure that there is limited And groom our children. Thank you. Grooming children! Go to China. <laughs> Hi, how you doing? Keep turning around, we're here. How you doing? Shake your heads all you want when I leave them. That's nice. We want kids to stop being groomed. Do that when your people yell out then. about the goals of the school department. This letter was sent to each of you today. Dear North County Kingstown School Committee members, the agenda of your October 26, 21 meeting today includes approval of um, school committee district goals. Now, this includes the following. Create an ethnic studies course and or graduation requirement. Okay, speak to this because in. you're about to address these goals tonight. I write with concern about the creation of an ethnic studies course. While on the surface, the study of various ethnicities sounds benign. In fact, the field of ethnic studies is driven by radical, oppressed, oppressor ideology. The divisiveness of that ideology is all the more of concern to many in the community because in practice, it encompasses a strong anti-Zionist, anti-Semitic component. The fierce controversy that has ensued in California, often the source of trends that are adopted nationally, should be a red flag. The same controversy is now surfacing in our backyard in Massachusetts. In the current environment, ethnic studies should be approached with caution, if not postponed. Should the adoption of an ethnic studies course nevertheless be pursued, the Rhode Island Coalition for Israel urges that our organization be represented as a stakeholder in the process from day one. Thank you for your consideration. Luann Pizzullo, Chair of K-12 Education Committee. The same letter was sent prior to the South and Silk Committee previous meeting which was adjourned prematurely. No response has been received. While not rightly recognized as such in critical race theory circles, the lived experience of the Jews is centuries of oppression and are currently suffering one of the worst outbreaks of Jew hatred in American history with defacement, arson in synagogues, Jews being attacked in the streets in New York and Los Angeles. 
The lack of a response from either the school committee or the DEI subcommittee suggests a lack of true diversity, equity, and inclusion within the NK educational leadership itself. We would ask you to demonstrate otherwise. There's other commentary on what happened in California with the adoption of ethnic studies. Um, the um, organization, the National Coalition Against Anti-Semitism, called AMCA Initiative, said, while certainly not all in the ethnic studies field fall into this category, there is a vocal and active faction of extremists who have long been seeking to inject their anti-Semitic and anti-Zionist agenda into our nation's classrooms, making matters significantly worse. California's I'm throw up the West is best so that ethnic studies department proudly support those over as an anti-Semitic curriculum. The Los Angeles Times wrote, California schools and school districts will now become entangled in a volatile political divide over critical race theory and the extent to which it is incorporated in the state's ethnic studies curriculum. School boards must hold public hearings on the courses they plan to offer. Critical race theory is rarely mentioned in the teaching guide, but critic Williams, Ed Williamson and Evers said the overall model curriculum is permeated with content that makes it racially divisive, burdened that's by fast ideology. According to Evers, a former U.S. Assistant Secretary of Education, and some other opponents, the problematic issues include a reliance on the concepts of critical race theory, leading to a portrayal of American culture and institutions through a racially divisive prism of oppressor and victim. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Which are 
address? 17 Johnson Avenue. Then, no, I'm sorry, this is, I'm looking for someone who lives on 40 Earl Drive. Okay, sorry, again, I apologize, I just couldn't quite read the last thing. I'm too busy reading books about porn, that's why. <laughs> Where they shut it down because someone wasn't wearing a mask at the mic. <laughs> Just too much. Oh. Need a safe space. Look at us when you talk to us. I actually am a teacher, and if anybody in my class was acting like these people who don't know how to keep still, the First Amendment, you mean? Respect, <laughs> there would be consequences. That's called being strolling. Who's the bully? <laughs> It'll be best if we address the committee rather than the crowd for everyone, please. So if you could continue, it's, please. It's thank you. Because you're just scolding us. Somebody was Public speaking 101. America. And what is America? And it's a great question because, in all honesty, I've really heard some really good solutions tonight. Um, even though, personally, I am probably more on the side of the, you know, let's have a lot of different kinds of books. But I do appreciate some of the solutions, the parent involvement, that have been proposed. I think that this is a democracy. We live in a democracy. That's my understanding. And so we have, to have parent involvement makes a lot of sense. You can tell she's not a history teacher. No, she's not my teacher. Run for office. That's another way. Probably teaches gin. We make our voices heard in this country. Um, my understanding is that mob rule. She's the health teacher that says penis a thousand times. It's not what I consider to be what I want in this country. And in this country, she just said she's a bully. I can't she supports Black Lives Matter riots, so that's not the mob mentality at all. Because they're children. Sexualizing children. <laughs> that was the first time you gave a blowjob. A clean of blowjobs. When was the first time you gave a blowjob? How old were you? Next is Kimberly Hatch. <laughs> <laughs> Last call for, are you coming? Sorry, didn't see you walking down. Thank you. It makes them uncomfortable when we say it to them, but not when it's about the kids. I get it. Exactly. I suppose the hypocrites for who they are. I am a graduate of North Kingston High School. If you could state your name and address for the record, sir. thing is that they hid it. They took all the stuff down for open house so none of the parents could see it. It's okay to be groomed.
taught them by professionals who are very capable to teach the subject. Um, I hope that as, as a town that we can all work together to participate in more reasonable and productive discussions in order to make sound and well thought out decisions related to our children's education. Thank you. So uh, frequently that you would have to be uh, victims of yelling, abuse. Uh, of opinions? Of the first we have amendment. a right to be here. Ladies and gentlemen, if you could please allow the speakers to speak. Thank you. And as, as I have sat here tonight, it does occur to me that um, I... I wonder about the level of bullying and abusive kind of talk and rabble rousing that's disrespectful. And it makes me wonder how much uh, is going on in these homes and the kind of. <laughs> we don't want our children sexualized! Now we're getting stereotyped! Gotta love it! Ladies and gentlemen, could we please allow the speakers to speak? To, to talk shit about us? Like, She's directing it directly towards us. People are this upset and about sexualizing children. Be respectful, as the previous Elizabeth mentioned. Respect the children. And there must be, they must be, not have very good coping skills to deal with what they're upset about. Because I think the rest of us are able to be here and speak respectfully and show our respect for you. A blowjob! <laughs> this is the respectful way! Whether we agree on occasion or not, there's definitely we things we're not all going to agree about. But I think there's a, a better way of showing it than interrupting people and being like... Oh, I can hear you. I just think that's one thing. Thank you. Type us. Gotta love it. Hypocrite. Again, if you stop, if we could please allow the speakers to speak, please. Thank you. Mr. Gallon. Um, well, obviously you have a big problem here. It really, uh, as far as, you know, putting this kind of material out and, and causing such a separation and a problem within our community, that in itself is a yeah. 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 I don't know if you're aware I'm a board certified psychiatrist, and I think we need a psychiatrist in this room right now. Yeah. Group therapy. <laughs> Most of all, I think, I really question, I mean, I, I did order the book on Amazon. It's very easy to find, by the way, $17. And I looked at it, and, you know, I can't believe that you would think that, that was, this would be appropriate for children. Thank you. I mean, it's it's pornographic material that really depicts sexual acts. It's it's clear that this is not appropriate for children. I raised two girls going through the school system in uh, a pictures. Very small school. I was able to participate. Um, Couldn't even lift children. spaghetti straps when I was in this school. Really showing that shit. My children, I'd be going through the roof. Thank you, sir. Thank you.
private school. There's no way I would do it. Talk about K to 12. I'm talking about children developing minds. And you're going to expose them to all the pornographic material. Well, you might as well put Playboy in there or, or the Hustler in there. Yeah. <laughs> They must have liked looking at the community members publicly push for abortion rights. There's also something that I find offensive. Uh, let me tell you a quick story about a 16 year old who I saw in my practice who was all trying to, teachers were trying to convince that I was, to, she ended up getting pregnant, obviously. Teachers were trying to convince her to get an abortion. Uh, because she's too young. Fast forward. 16 years, I see her later. She shows me a picture of her son and says to me, You saved his life. Yeah. Right there. I'm sorry, I, I have to ask you to start over. Nationally, if you just look at high schoolers, 19% of our high schoolers are seriously thinking about 